Catholic Daily Journal for Sunday, January the 13th, 2019. It's hard to believe that it was only one year ago today that a minor programming error sent out a message to the people of Hawaii that a missile was flying straight for them. The false emergency alert in 2018 started in motion a series of repairs, corrections, and reconsiderations concerning how the government can and should notify us of danger. The repairs seem providential in hindsight, considering that only four months later, a major volcano erupted and trapped many people behind uncrossable lava flows. Today in 1968, Johnny Cash and June Carter performed live inside Folsom State Prison in California. Cash had cut a song called Folsom State Blues, and he hoped to relieve some of the blues of the inmates by performing there. The show was recorded live, and that album restarted Johnny Cash's career. It was his first commercial success after his public problems with drug abuse, and in 2006, Time Magazine listed live at Folsom State Prison among the top 100 albums of all time. Today in 927, one of the most important and unknown figures in European history died quietly in France. Bernot of Cluny was a wealthy man who longed to be a monk. He established a monastery on his own property and another one down the road. And Count William of Aquitaine asked Bruno to come and be the abbot of a new monastery in Cluny. At that time, there was no problem with one man functioning as the abbot of several monasteries, and so Bruno agreed. He insisted that the new monastery at Cluny be strictly operated under the rule of St. Benedict, and that their wealthy patron, William, would have no operational control at all. In exchange for this, the monastery would pay a small sum of about 10 gold solidi to the Pope every year. Cluny would go on to be the birthplace of an astounding religious and civil revival that was the backbone for Christendom. Monasteries founded from Cluny would be the basis for almost every great medieval university, and almost every great city of the Middle Ages relied upon the advice and the support of an abbot connected with Cluny. Cluny was shuttered in 1790 by Napoleon, after 871 years of continuous power and influence all over Europe. And the man at the beginning of all that was the abbot Berno, who died today in 927. Here's a sonnet in honor of Bruno from the bard himself. Not marble nor gilded monuments of princes shall outlive this powerful rhyme. But you shall shine more bright in these contents than unswept stone besmeared with sluttish time. When wasteful war shall statues overturn and broils root out the work of masonry, nor Mars his sword nor war's quick fire shall burn the living record of your memory. Gainst death and all obvious enmity shall you pace forth your praise shall still find room even in the eyes of all posterity that wear this world out to the ending doom. So till the judgment that you yourself arise, you live in this and dwell in lovers' eyes. Sonnet 55 from William Shakespeare for St. Bruno of Cluny. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.